Most of the time, I want to attract birds to my yard and landscape. But there's a few times, and this is one of them, where I don't want to. This tomato was damaged by a bird that was thirsty. It's a hot, dry summer, and they've got no free water to drink, so they're picking on my tomatoes. This is a case where I want to repel birds. And an easy way to do that, among many, is to put a predator in the landscape. I don't have any real snakes, but a rubber snake will fool a bird. Yeah, that looks about the right height. You know, aside from eating tomatoes, I've had problems with birds eating my grapes. In fact, I remember one day watching the cedar waxwings flying in and out of my grapes, thinking, look, I've got cedar waxwings. The problem was, I had them because they were eating all the grapes as they ripened. So what I want to do today is make the old standby scarecrow. And you can do this very inexpensively and very easily with a little bit of PVC pipe, a hacksaw, a piece of rebar, and one simple fitting. There. What we're going to do is glue this nice big red rubber ball on top of this, and then we'll dress our scarecrow and use some mylar ribbon so he's in motion all the time. And we'll be able to move this around the yard and the garden as much as we want to keep the birds wondering what's going on. Whenever you put up a scarecrow, you want to put it in in such a way that you can move it from one place to another in the garden. That keeps the birds fooled. I'm using an ordinary piece of rebar, and I can simply slide my PVC pipe right over the top of it. Now the next step is to build a head, a big scary head. And I'm using an ordinary rubber ball for the purpose. I got a flange that fits on the half inch PVC, and I've pre-drilled some holes in it. What I'm going to do is apply some glue to glue the ball on, but while I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to use some string and tie it in place so that we'll be ready to go immediately. A face like that ought to scare the birds away. But even so, I want to draw some big scary eyes on the head of my scarecrow. I've drawn four on there, so they'll be looking at the birds no matter where they are. They don't count the eyes. The objective here is to have a scary looking head and a scarecrow that will move when the wind blows. The next thing we want to do is tie on some arms. I'm using mylar ribbon. This is the stuff they use for those really nice helium balloons at the florist shop. Tie those on so that when the wind blows, we get the noise and we get the motion of the shiny ribbons. There are a number of ways to harmlessly frighten birds from our landscapes and gardens. A big inflatable eye like this, it's called terror eyes, good idea. And also artificial predators like rubber snakes and those owls that you can buy also repel birds. Motion, noise, shiny reflective surfaces all safely repel birds from our gardens. I don't mind sharing my environment with birds, in fact I like to. It's sharing my produce from the great outdoors that I don't want to do.